Hello and welcome back to another show. I'm Sid and in this video I'm going to be showing you a simple glittery type face filter which you can create for yourself in GIMP or Photoshop and then import into Spark AR for this sort of alienish, shiny, almost foil kind of glitter effect. Uh, for honesty, this which I've got over here is a simplified version of a tutorial I found online. Uh, the link for that will be in the description but I wanted to make this video because for me following tutorials like this can be difficult especially when you have to go back and find them again and it's easier to just watch a video in my opinion uh, so that's why I'm doing this so I'm going to follow this tutorial which I've condensed down here to create this effect uh, let's just pause so that it doesn't completely destroy my computer while I do it and then minimize I have this new GIMP uh, file open uh, you can use Photoshop that works just as well but it's not free and it's not open source so I prefer this uh, yeah to avoid questions about size of the file I've just imported the face masculine uh, image from the texture assets pack the reference pack which spark AR studio provides and the link for that will also be in the description down below uh, yeah so you don't really need this you can pretty much minimize it we're going to create a new layer on top of it uh we'll just call that glitter i suppose uh we can even minimize this one now and i'm following the tutorial exactly and it gives hex color values but i imagine if you play around with it a little bit you'll get some slightly different results that may work in your favor maybe not i'm just showing you something that worked for me that uh you know and how I got there so we'll just carry on with this but you like I say you can switch up the color values and see what sort of different results you get it would actually be interesting for me I'm going to start playing around with it as well after this video probably but for now yeah we'll just add that one it'll take us to this color we'll do a paint fill it'll make nice gray and then we'll go back to uh, the move tool so we can right click come down here to filters noise and RGB noise and then we want to uncheck this and uncheck this keep this one checked because otherwise these disappear the red green and blue values uh, and we want to check correlated noise as well and then according to the tutorial which I found and which works pretty well we want to increase all of these values to 0 0.5 you can already see what it's doing in the background and now we can confirm that I'll zoom in and you can see it's more sort of that staticky pixelated TV effect, which you can leave like that. You could probably import that and, and, and that would work. That would have some sort of effect on your image. Uh, the whole point of this, I guess, is just to experiment and play around. But no, what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to filters. We're going to come down here to artistic and then cubism. And we're going to make the particles bigger so the noise that is created we're going to create make those individual particles larger on the screen not this large obviously i'm going to pull it down to two and the tile saturation will be 2.5 just according to this um click ok we zoom out you can see we have some nice you know this is like noise particles sort of staticky effect going on right now uh so the next thing we're going to oh i've done it again cancel that so the next thing we're going to want to do is select this layer down here and just duplicate it by right clicking and selecting duplicate layer uh where, where am i <laughs> and now we're going to right click on this layer we'll select the layer transform rotate 90 degree clockwise and that will rotate it you can see if i control z and then control y to go forwards and backwards edit forward edit undo edit redo you can see it has sort of rotated that top layer uh, and then we'll come over here to mode and where it's currently normal we're going to turn it over we're going to switch that to burn and switch the opacity down to 50 percent okay and now once we've done that we'll create a new layer on top of that which for now we can just call new layer we've got our two here uh, and then we're going to select this and we're going to choose a layer to fill in this uh, is the color that's chosen 
by the tutorial if you want to select if you want it to come out in that gold sort of color then this is what you select uh, it worked when I switched up the color as well went to green so I'm just going to fill it in here we have that now filled in but you could probably choose any color you want uh, I think probably a more neutral color might work better in the long run because you can adjust it more uh, inside of spark but for the purposes of this I'm just going to follow the tutorial as uh, given so yeah we'll fill this color in go back to move uh, <laughs> and then we'll come over and change the layer mode on this one from normal to soft light which is down here uh, you can see it makes it sort of it's a little bit more transparent uh, and now we want to I feel like <laughs> create a new layer from visible yeah I'm pretty sure this is right yeah so now we want to come in on this new layer that we've created and um, we we'll right click filters so I just want to make sure that I'm following this right I don't want to make any mistakes and have to start again we'll come into filters lights and shadow and then sparkle and the sparkle effect is what we're going to be creating now all these little values here are the numbers you're going to be putting in here and the letters are just the initials of this so you could probably skip ahead you could pause this and just fill in the blanks but I'm going to do that now uh, so we've got 0 0.02 I'm not going to say it out loud I'll just let you do it as well all these values which are apparently are minor already done so I'll just apply that and um, we'll see that I now have this glittery effect and uh, when it said select natural color that was the option that was the default option with the current version of GIMP so just I'll leave it as default fill in those and you basically have this effect this glittery effect so what you're going to do now is with all these layers visible except for this bottom one which you can have I suppose but it will just leave this ghostly imprint gives you a sense of how this has been created though just by making certain parts of the image transparent and different parts of whatever sorry I'm yawning so we'll make that we'll get rid of that face in the background and then we'll export this as a new image to the desktop we'll call it glitter file dot png and we'll export that so now that's on the desktop we can minimize this and bring back the spark ar studio so i'm going to create a new project and minimize that one and so now we've got this over here uh oh the computer stopped humming face mesh i wonder if anyone made it this far in the video we'll add a face mesh to our video to our scene and then a material and on that material we will come down not not where we would normally be but we'll set this to physically based and then we'll come down here to emission and normal and we'll add it to our i'm pretty sure it's emission so we'll do this first and then if not we'll switch it around no i'm pretty sure i was wrong about that we'll remove that and we'll just add it here into the normal yeah and now you're seeing the, 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 the proper so the right result so you take the file that we've just made in gimp and you import that into i'll delete that one so you import that into the into the uh, normal texture and then you can adjust the metallic range and the roughness considering it's glitter you probably want it to be a little bit more rough but you can also change the metallic parameter and even the color if you like so now it kind of looks like sandpaper you see that very rough kind of like sandpaper i'll come over to my face you can see it's almost got this kind of alien sand kind of look a bit like a lizard with this color which is not really what we're after right now so what i'm going to do next is come down here to where it says add asset and select environment texture presets these are all the hdris these are high dynamic range images which are 360 degrees of uh like i guess lighting that you can use in your virtual scene they're real lights from photographs that you can use in your virtual scenes it's hard to explain i'm not very i'm not a technical expert at any of this by no by any means but basically you just want to select one of these 
these are the, the presets uh, and then come over to your material layer tick the environment box and then choose uh, basically this is a reflective property that you can now add to your uh hey so <laughs> i guess i tapped the button on my laptop and the recording stopped yeah so a uh, little bit of an edit here yeah you can keep adjusting this you can play around with it if you don't like the the uh, hdri you can come in and play with some more there's even a website that you can visit i'll probably link to that in the description down below but play around with the presets uh, and then if you don't like any of those hdri haven haven.com that gives you pretty much what you want there's presets for it there's textures for everything but as you can see it's almost with this color it's a little bit wizard of Oz, but it's very much like a sparkly kind of depending on how you want to do it sparkly kind of effect maybe i'll switch it out for something but you see what i'm going for yeah so this is pretty much the entire video i made this because somebody in the comment le somebody left a comment asking me to do a glitter tutorial and this i know isn't exactly what they asked for sorry about that but uh i'm learning just along with you so <laughs> maybe i'll be able to replicate what you're after soon and you'll be back or whatever uh maybe i don't know this, I never know how to end these videos, they're kind of weird. This is a pretty cool effect, I'm going to keep playing around with it. Uh, it's not exactly glitter, but it has like a kind of reflective foil kind of vibe going for it, which I dig. So, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's kind of cool that I have like 18 subscribers now. Uh, maybe 20 is a milestone. I don't know, 25? What do you, what do you celebrate at? hundred uh anyway peace out i'll see you next time